بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو المنیر آئی سکول ای لرننگ سسٹم کلاس نائن دس از یور فیزکس لیکچر ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس آور یونٹ نمبر سکس دس از یور فیزکس بک ٹائٹل پیج فار کلاس نائن ان دس یونٹ یونٹ نمبر سکس We are going to discuss about work and energy. The main topics we are going, which we are going to cover, are work, energy, the main types of energy, other forms of energy, interconversion of energy, major sources of energy, and in the last, we will learn and discuss about efficiency and power. So generally, work refers to performing some task or job. In science, work has precise meaning. For example, a man carrying a load is doing work, but he is not doing work. If he is not moving while keeping the load on his head, scientifically, work is done only when an effort or force moves an object. So, Here we have first our first topic 6.1 work. What is the main meaning and definition of work? In physics, work is said to be done when a force acts on a body and moves it in the direction of force. So it is called the work. Work is said to be done when a force F acts on a body and it th that force moves that body in the direction of the force now the question arises how much work is done naturally greater is the force acting on a body and longer is the distance moved by it larger would be the work done mathematically we can define work as work is a product of force and displacement s in the direction of the force So here we have the formula. Mathematically, we can define work done is equal to force into displacement. W is equal to Fs. Look at this figure 6.1. Work done is displacing a body in the direction of the force. Here we have the force and this S shows the displacement. Next, sometimes force and displacement do not have the same direction such as in figure 6.2 work done by force inclined with the displacement so in that case here the force f is making angle theta so here we have the angle theta and this uh, main force has other perpendicular components which are fx and fy with the displacement resolving f into its perpendicular components fx and fy are the components of resolving force F. We already know and have learned in previous chapter that Fx is equal to F cos theta and Fy is equal to F sin theta. When force and displacement are not parallel to each other, only the x component Fx parallel to the displacement causes the body to move on the surface and, now the, and not the y component. So in case of that uh, scenario, W is equal to will be fx into s where fx is f cos theta s so our equation will be fs cos theta so here we have the pink box box this box is representing the definition of work work is done when a force acting on a body displaces it in the direction of a force so work is a scalar quantity It only depends on the force acting on a body and displacement of the body and the angle between them. So what will be the SI unit of work? SI unit of work is 1 joule. And it joule is defined as the amount of work is 1 joule when a force of 1 newton displaces, uh, displaces a body through 1 meter in the direction of the force. So here we have combination of two units the units of force and unit of displacement so one joule is equal to one newton, one newton into one meter so joule is a small unit of work 
its bigger units are 1 kilojoule which is equal to 1000 joules 10 to the power 3 joules and 1 megajoule is also the bigger unit and it is 10 lakhs joules which is equal to 10 to the power 6 joules next students we have example 6.1 look at the statement of the example what he is going to ask and what we have to find in this example a girl carries a 10 kg bag upstairs to a height of 18 steps and each step is 20 cm high calculate the amount of work she has done to carry the bag so here we have the uh, clue or given value which is uh, the value of g which is equal to 10 meter per second square so first of all look at a girl carries a 10 kg bag so mass of the bag is m uh, which is 10 kgs we have to find first of all we have to find out the weight of the bag with uh, we know that weight is equal to m into g so value of m is 10 and g is also 10 10 into 10 is equal to 100 newtons so we have uh, force of 100 newton to carry the bag upstairs the girl exerts an upward force f which is equal to the weight the weight of the bag so f is force is equal to 100 newton and what about the height here we have the values of for the height we have 18 steps and each step is 20 centimeter high so it means that 18 into 0 0.2 meters we can convert 20 centimeters into meters by dividing it 100 so answer is 3.6 meters now put all these values in the formula of work which is f into h so 100 into 3.6 is 360 joules the girl has done 360 joules of work next our term is energy the energy is an important and fundamental concept in science it links almost all the natural ph phenomena when we say that a body has energy we mean that it has the ability to do work because we work for uh, for doing any kind of work our body needs energy water running down the stream has the ability to do work so it possesses energy the energy of running water can be used to run water mills and water turbines yes we all know about uh, this water energy and we know about the uses of water energy energy exists in various forms such as mechanical energy heat energy light energy sound energy electrical energy chemical energy and nuclear energy as well energy can be transformed from one form to another easily a body poses energy it is it if it is capable to do some work mechanical energy possessed by body is of two types so here we have two main types of energy one is kinetic energy yes we know that moving air is wind we use we can use wind energy for doing various things so moving energy is called the kinetic energy or the energy possessed by body due to its motion is called the kinetic energy Kinetic energy, it drives windmills and pushes sailing boards. Similarly, moving water in a river can carry wooden logs through large distances and can be used to drive turbines for generating the electricity. Thus, a moving body has kinetic energy because it can do work due to its motion. The body stops moving as soon as all of its kinetic energy is used up. So here we have the example how we can find the kinetic energy what will be the formula of kinetic energy consider a body of mass m moving with velocity v the body stops after moving through some distance s due to the due to some opposing force such as force of friction acting on it the body possesses kinetic energy and is capable to do work against opposing force f until all of its kinetic energy is used up. so kinetic energy of the body is and is will be equal to work done by its by it due to motion so we can we can say that kinetic energy of the body will do some work by its motion so kinetic energy is equal to force into s force into displacement so here we know that initial energy here we have the initial energy which is v 
final uh, here we have the final uh, initial velocity which is v and final velocity vf is equal to zero we already know that according to the newton's second law of motion force is equal to mass into acceleration so a, a acceleration will be minus force over mass since motion is opposed hence a is in negative using third equation of motion so here we have the third equation of motion 2as is equal to uh, square of final velocity minus square of initial velocity so by rearranging this above formula we get fs force into displacement will be half mv square so from equation 6.3 here and 6.4 we get kinetic energy is equal to half mv square you must have to remember this equation or this formula of kinetic energy we will use in our numerical type questions to drive or to find out the value of kinetic energy so the equation 6.5 gives the kinetic energy possessed by a body of mass m moving with the velocity v look at the example number 6.2 a stone of mass 5 500 grams strikes the ground with a velocity of 20 meter per second how much is the kinetic energy of the stone at that time it strikes the ground so we have to find the value of kinetic energy here mass is given which is 500 grams we can convert it into 0.5 kg velocity is 20 meter per second which is also given so by putting the values in our kinetic energy formula we will get the kinetic energy which is 100 joules the kinetic energy of the stone is 100 joules at it strikes the ground next we have the potential energy the energy possessed by a body due to its position is called for potential energy often a body has the ability to do work although it is at rest कई दफा ऐसा होता है कि body rest position में होती है लेकिन फिर भी उसके अंदर इतनी ability होती है कि कोई ना कोई वो work कर सके for example an apple on a tree is capable to do work as it falls thus it possesses energy due to its most position the kind of energy which a body possesses possesses due to its position not motion so it is called the potential energy next we have some examples of potential energy stored water possesses potential energy due to its height agar koi unchai pe pani hai jaise aapshar ka pani hai uske andar jo energy store hogi because of its position will be its potential energy a hammer raised up to some, uh, to some height as the ability to do work because it possesses potential energy a stretched bow has look at here here we have the stretched bow as potential energy due to its stretch position when released the stored energy of the bow pushes the arrow out of it the energy present in the stretched bow is called elastic potential energy so energy present in the stretched bow is elastic potential energy it has the ability to do some work the potential energy possessed by a hammer is due to its height the energy present in a body due to its height is called gravitational potential energy. So the energy present in a body due to height is called gravitational potential energy. Or the energy present in the stretch bow is called elastic potential energy. Let a body of mass M be raised up through a height H from the ground. The body will acquire potential energy equal to the work done in lifting it to the height H. So the potential energy will be force into height and we know that uh, energy is equal to work into height. Here weight of the body W is equal to mg. We know that potential energy will be W into h work into height. So it will be uh, mass into gra uh, gravity into height. Thus the potential energy possessed by the body at height h with respect to the ground is mgh and is equal to the work done in lifting it to the height h so to, to uh, we can easily find potential energy by putting the values in this formula so this 6.6 .6 equation is the formula of potential energy you must remember it or learn it because we will use it in our numerical type questions Net, next look at the example number 6.3 a body of mass m is 50 kg and is raised to a height of 3 meters 
so gravity is 10 meter per second square so to find potential energy we have this formula mgh by putting all these above values mass of mass gravity and height we will by multiplying it we will get the answer which is which will be our potential energy so the potential energy of the body is 1500 joules now look at the next example 6.4 a force of of 200 newton x on a body of mass 20 kg the force accelerates the body from rest until it attains a velocity of 50 meter per second so here we have the mass 200 uh, force 200 newtons mass is 20 kg velocity is 50 meter per second so we have to find out the distance so work done on the body is equal to kinetic energy gained by it we already know that f is equal to half mv square to find the uh, s we will take it uh, or keep it on the left hand side and other values will be on right hand side by Putting the values, we will get the distance which is 125 meters. Next, we have some forms of energy. Energy exists in various forms. Yes, I told you in the above topic that we have mechanical energy, electrical, light, nuclear, chemical, sound and heat energy. One by one, we will look at all these forms of energy. First of all, mechanical energy. The energy possessed by a body both due to its motion or position is called mechanical energy ऐसी energy जो body की position plus उसकी position की वजह से create होती है we call it mechanical energy water running down a stream stream wind uh, wind a moving car a lifted hammer a stretch bow so, yes all these are the examples of mechanical energy and possessed by mechanical energy Heat energy, heat is a form of energy given out by hot bodies. Large amount of heat is obtained by burning fuel. Heat is also produced when motion is opposed by frictional forces. Heat kaise produce hoti hai? Jab bhi koi cheez motion mein ho aur usko oppose uh, kare bhoat zada frictional forces, then heat is produced. The food we take provide us heat energy. The sun is the main source of heat energy. Electrical energy. Electricity is one of the widely used forms of energy. Electrical energy can be supplied easily to any desired place through wires. We get electrical energy from batteries and electric generators. These electric generators are run by hydropower, uh, water, se jo hum karte hai, power, and thermal or nuclear powers. Next, we have sound energy. When you knock at the door, you produce sound. Sound is a form of energy. It is produced when a body vibrates, such as vibrating diaphragm of a drum, vibrating strings of a sitar or musical instruments, and vibrating air column of wind instruments, such as flute, pipe, etc., create or produce sound energy. Next, we have light energy. Light is an important form of energy. Name some sources of light that we come across. Look at figure 6.5. Uh, 11 light is needed during night also so it is the picture of facile moss plants produce food in the presence of light we also need light to see things we get light from the candles electric bulbs fluorescent tubes and also by burning fuels next type is chemical energy what is chemical energy chemical energy is present in the food we eat in the fuel and in the other substances, we get other forms of energy from these substances during chemical reactions. So we can get easily, uh, can get this chemical energy uh, during the uh, chemical reactions of different substances. The burning of wood, coal or natural gas in air is a chemical reaction which releases energy as well as heat and uh, light energy is also produced. Electrical energy is obtained from electric cells and batteries as a result of chemical reaction between various substances present in them. Animals get heat and muscular energy from the food they eat. Next, the last we have the nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is obtained is the energy released in the form of nuclear radiations in addition to heat and light. So nuclear energy is the type of energy and it is re released when nuclear radiations, radiations form and also heat and light is produced. 
during nuclear reactions such as fission or fusion we have two types of nuclear reactions one is fission other one is fusion heat energy released in nuclear reactors is converted into electrical energy so we can easily get the electricity by this nuclear energy the energy coming from the sun for the last billions of years is the result of nuclear radiations taking place on the sun so these uh, these are all are the forms of energy next our topic is interconversion of energy yes i told you in the above topic that energy can easily be transformed or changed from one form to another so it is called the interconversion of energy energy cannot be destroyed however it can be converted into some other form for example rub your hand together quickly you will feel them warm you have used your muscular energy into rubbing hands as a result heat is produced in the process of rubbing hands mechanical energies can be uh, is converted easily into heat energy processes in nature are the results of energy change for example some of the heat energy from the sun is taken up by the water in the oceans this increases the thermal energy thermal energy causes water to evaporate from the sun to form water vapors these vapors rise up and form the clouds as they cool down they form water drops and fall down as a rain so potential energy change into kinetic energy as the rain falls this rain water may reach a lake or a dam as the rain water flows down its kinetic energy change into thermal energy while parts of the kinetic energy of flowing water is used to wash away soil particles of rocks known as soil erosion so after reading this we come to the point that energy cannot be destroyed but it change from one form to another during the interconversion of energy from one form to other form the total energy at any time remains constant so it is all about the interconversion of energy this is all for today thank you allah hafiz